Call hello, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rokakwadash. I just want to give this channel a plug real quick because this guy has got some some hard hitting information. Um, Shalom to all the elders in the Akim and the Akwaf that's out there seeking the Lord's face for real. Um, if I could just give a strong recommendation for brothers and sisters to go over to this guy's channel, <clears throat> check out what he's got. You know, a lot of the state of our condition is because we're deceived, okay? And with that, I'm just going to go into a couple of the slides that I jacked out of this, out of that video. And again, that's Sovereign Living right down there. Sovereign Living, man. The, the guy got some information, man. All right? Congress tyranny ends common law, all right? Your common law is your constitution, all right? And you could pause these and read them at your leisure. I'm just going to kind of burn through them. Uh, Congress tyranny, medical dictatorship. Congress claiming its martial law power to declare war, suppress insurrections, repel invasions, impose martial law on the United States, and never discontinued it. So I don't, a lot of people saying, oh, martial law is coming, martial law is coming. Man, we've been under martial law. Okay? And a lot of the little things that they do are war crimes. You know, pulling you over for speeding. With a gun on their hip. Okay, that's an armed conflict, man. That's a war crime. All right? Uh, the result was an extension of military and municipal jurisdiction of Congress. But where is the evidence of this? Well, look at the 13th Amendment, Civil Rights Acts, Legal Tender Laws, the 14th Amendment. All right? Diet v. Turner. That's a court case that set a certain precedent. All right? And just like these court cases where it just came up right now, the damn pedophile that said that he was a protected minority because he was a pedophile. Man, that set precedent. So whatever that case was, blank v. blank, man, that set precedent that pedophiles can say that they're a, a, a protected minority. Bankruptcy equals martial law. There's three kinds of martial law. Full martial law, which is the declaration of martial laws issued, troops on the streets, used only during wartime, used on foreign country, or when actually invaded by a foreign power or put down or to put down an armed rebellion martial law proper law of the armed forces when a captain tells a private what to do enforced by courts martial all right martial law rule law of necessity and emergency allows the domestic use of martial law powers used during times of peace can continue centuries during a military occupation so right now we're being occupied by a military of a foreign land on this land that, that is called so-called America, all right? References for that, ex parte Milligan for a wall. Diet v. Turner yet again, right? The non-ratification of the 14th Amendment by Judge A.H. Ellet, the Utah Supreme Court, all right? Congress tyranny, medical dictatorship. Under the 1997 adoption of the Safe Families Act, CPS agencies, which is Child Protective Services, services are granted $4,000 to $6,000 for every child that's removed from their home and placed with a stranger. Devils. Okay, Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. Who owns most of, the, most of the world? All right? The nations are out there showing their heads is sticking out, man. But they put a damn mask on that's so silly that you think that's who they are. Who are they saying they are? Okay? You got Israel in a low state, man. Psalms 83 and 3. All right, you had Edom, Ishmael, Moab, the Hagarines. This damn near every nation confederate against Israel. All right, and all these things that they're doing is because they want to have a genocide. All right, a genocide. All right, where is the protect? Where is the where is the protection that for the protected group of this Israel, man? You know, we don't even want your protection from this worldly protection, man. We got the protection of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Congress tyranny, medical dictatorship. Congress converted citizens into the opposite of what the founders intended to enslave everybody. Congress gave governments permission to screen for low intelligence for their code enforcers, that which is which is their policy enforcers, their police. All right. And not even the, the police, but even branched out into code like county building codes. Uh, you know, I was in a, a administrative hearing under an administrative law judge, and there was about 30 people out here from the county, Baltimore County, 
that was getting a $300 fine for not having their trash can lid on properly. All right. And it's all outside of law, man. If you go to this guy's channel and you start studying the stuff that he's saying, there's a trust that was created in your name. And when they ask you in court, is your name, you know, Mr. Kafash Tabak, you will be like, yes, that's my name. But you don't know because you're being deceived that you're not claiming that that's you. That you're claiming that you are actually the trust, the corporation, so-called, that was created with your social security number when you was born. Not asking you, are you Kafash Tabak, the, the, the live man that's standing here? No, they want to administer the trust. And they want to claim the trust and do whatever they want with it and jam you all up, right? It's a damn shame. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Do their work in darkness, all right? Congress granted plausible deniability to their order followers so they can rape, pillage, and murder as much as they like and claim good faith immunity. Congress mandated fluoride into the drinking water to dumb down people for their Concentration camps. And honestly, I mean, you got to have some dumb people that, 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 that they just can't even get it. And the reason is because your pineal gland is, is being jacked with, man, because of the fluoride. And there's more to fluoride than just jack with your pineal gland, okay? I saw a, uh, uh, it was a poster up on a, uh, a water treatment laboratory that said fluoride is a common element found in all water. I'm over here thinking about water. I was like, I know water is H2O. Ain't no F in H2O, man. Fluoride. Come on, man. Congress refuses to approve the International Criminal Court because they intend to engage in war crimes, which they have been doing. And that's why they refuse to approve the International Criminal Court, because all of these judges masquerading around as 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 judges or clerks masquerading around as judges, they're just there to take your money and jam you up. And just kind of like pigeonhole you, let you pigeonhole yourself. Okay, deception, man. They're they're forgers of lies. All right, land of the cowards, home of the slaves. How Kofi Pass works. I just seen a brother uh, hasten his coming. YouTube channel hasten his coming, and he did a whole thing on this Kofi Pass, how it works. Okay, as a digital health passport, Kofi Pass links to this and displays a certified COVID-19 test result to the user's health and immuno response using a secure biometric gateway, allowing individuals to return to work and life safely. And really the way that they word it in their, in their stuff is that you can return to the global society safely. But I have something to say, I ain't never been part of the damn global society. So you can keep your global society, go have that be a global society over there away from me. I'm locale, baby. Locale. Kofi Pass, biometrically accessed on a mobile phone or a handheld key fob or RFID, provides a unique authenticated gateway for government health services and business to ensure a safe work environment. Okay, well, look, the Lord makes people sick. The Lord wounds people. And also the Lord heals people, man. If the Lord wanted you to have COVID-19, this shit that they concocted up in their laboratories that has a patent, number, then you're going to catch it, man. This is a plague. COVID-19 is a plague sent from the Lord, even though it was sent from uh, Fauci and his cohorts, CDC, Center for Disease Creation. Land of the cows, home of the slaves. The fluoride in our water comes from hydrofluorosilicic acid, a toxic waste from industry. This has never once been tested for safety and is banned in 98% of Europe. But people will be like, oh, well, your teeth, you got to give good teeth. Have you seen those people on well water? Get out of here, man. All right, land of the cowards, home of the slaves, fluoride and its side effects, cancer, brain damage, bone weakness, dental fluorosis, low estrogen, testosterone levels, damage to stomach, joint problems, skeletal fluorosis, osteoarthritis, and accelerates osteoporosis, lowers your IQ, memory loss, lack of motivation, apathy, passivity, inhibits melatonin production. Inhibits melatonin production, impairs the immune system, attacks your pineal gland, kidney stones, and kidney failure, interferes with white blood cell production. Hey, kidney stones and kidney failure. I've had some kidney stones, and I'll tell you what, ever since I stopped drinking damn tap water, slowly cleared up, man. Slowly cleared up, but I'm prone. So so I'm 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 on my guard, man. I got my guard up. Stay alkalized, my people. Stay alkalized. Filter your water, man. 
Interferes with white blood cell production, kills brain cells, makes you dumb, lowers sex drive, infertility, sedative, accelerates the aging process, attacks your thyroid, hypothalamus, shortens lifespan, promotes mental disturbances, receding gums, affects heart circulation, makes you docile and obedient. It says obesient. I think they meant to say obedient. Autism, DNA damage, Alzheimer's disease. And I mean, I'm sure we can link it to more stuff. Small list, right? Fluoride makes your body absorb extra aluminum. And where does the aluminum go? Your brain. And what metal shows up alarmingly in the brains of Alzheimer's victims? You guessed it. That's right. William Douglas from Maryland. Or William Douglas, MD. All right. So another thing about the aluminum is it makes your body absorb extra aluminum. Aluminum blocks radiation, man. And the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodash, is the gamma radiation. It's becoming more intensified on this earth right now. Man, that sun of righteousness. Rising with healing in its wings, man. And if your body is wrought with all this nonsense and you haven't seek the wisdom to try to navigate your way around all this fluoride so you're not absorbing up all this aluminum, man, that's your destiny. Is to, is to be part of the two-thirds that gets destroyed, man. I'm looking for the elect and the great multitude. Let's go. Let's go, my people. Let's go. Land of the cow is home of the slaves. Hi, my name is Scott Gottlieb. I am a commissioner of an FDA and am currently trying to outlaw a natural herb called Kratom, which has been used as a treatment for opiate addiction. Coincidentally, I sit on the board of a major pharmaceutical company and pushed for a permanent occupation by the U.S. government in Afghanistan, which is the biggest producer of opium in the world. Land of the cow at home of the slaves. Looked like we had a plague in 1720, a plague in 1820, a plague in 1920, and now we're facing a plague in 2020. Hmm, every hundred years, huh? Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right, land of the cow is home of the slaves. Fear is the real disease, all right? This is what, you, this is what the patriots are, are crying out, all right? We won't be distanced, mass tested, tracked, or chipped, or vaccinated. We will unify, live free, hug, touch, play, and enjoy life, man. So, that's, hey, Come on now. Let's get it. Land of the cow at home of the slaves, all right? You're talking about you're not breathing enough oxygen. This is why uh, OSHA, the OSHA standard, man, wearing masks all day violates the OSHA standard. You can't do it, all right? Take a look at this and the links down here. If you want some references, can't even really read them links, but either way, man, go check out this guy's channel. Oh, print one of these out for yourself, man. The American with Disabilities Act. And you don't have to tell nobody what your condition is. You just need to tell them, fuck you, I'm not wearing a mask. Face mask, ex face mask exempt card, man. Here, let me put this sideways so everybody get a nice, good, good picture of that that they can print out for themselves, man. All right, come on. Boom. Wear that around your neck. Land of the cow at home of the slaves, disease, deaths per day nationwide, all right? COVID-19, 56 deaths per day. Seasonal flu, 1,027 deaths per day, all right? What are we doing, my people? What is going on? Tuberculosis, 3,000 a day. We all ain't out here wearing masks. Come on, man. Come on. Land of the cow at home of the slaves, all right? The mass violate OSHA, 19.5 minimum oxygen level, brain damage, headaches, high blood pressure, infection. And basically, you know, it's just a place for viruses to sit there and, and try to grow because the mask is hot from your breath. Land of the cow at home of the slaves. Look at what virologists wear to protect themselves from a virus. But don't worry, your bandana works too. Your little stupid little N95 mask or whatever. And if I got to deal with looking at Joe Biden any damn more, man. But, you know, hey, I'll take it with great joy. Go ahead, print this out. Put this up. Put Make stickers out of this, man. All right? Mandates lead to more mandates. You're going to get vaccinated by force. Do you really want to be a sheeple? All right? Stay six feet. What? That's military protocol, man. Six feet so you can identify anybody, keep an eye on everybody, man. All they got to see is your eyes for their facial recognition hardware and software now. It's the law, you dog, or face mask pony citizens. Joe Biden. Boy, somebody need to slap him on live TV, don't they? Land of the cow at home of the slaves. Oh, look at this. A Denver airport mural back in 1994. 
They got a worldwide situation where you got na- flags of every nation covering everybody's mouth and face. Shame on them, man. Shame on them. This is an agenda, my people. But you know, the microchip got to come, man, to fulfill prophecy. So just take it with great joy. All right. Thank you, government. Look at the big UN boot. Coronavirus lockdown. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh. You know, you got people stressed out. You got people living in fear. You got little kids are supposed to be learning how to be social and socialize. Whole world been told to wear a damn mask, man. Oh. Yeah. Okay.